As any good leader will tell you, KPIs only work if your team understand what they are and can see them on a regular basis. But what if your team works remotely? How can you make sure that they stay up to date on their key performance metrics? Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can make the most out of Slack, along with Gecko Board, to create automatic KPI reports that never get missed. If you want your KPIs to get seen, then Slack is prime real estate. Whether your team is working remotely or whether they're on the go, Slack is a channel that they're likely to be accessing several times a day. Now, Slack has about a zillion integrations, um, and there are actually many ways you can automatically generate data in Slack. You may have used integrations for tools like Salesforce, MailChimp, or even something like Zapier. But the problem with many of these integrations is that they usually surface metrics one by one from individual data sources. And whilst that can be useful for some things, it means it's almost impossible for your team to get a sense of the full picture. Plus the reports themselves are not always very visual. Sometimes you need to click on them to access the information. And with notifications like these, you eventually just find that they become part of the furniture and people stop checking them. With Gecko Board, on the other hand, you can present KPIs in a way that's meaningful to you and your team. You can use leaderboards, gauges, goals, and many other forms of visualization to really get across the point of your KPIs. And because Gecko Board posts a snapshot of your whole dashboard to Slack, it just has more visual impact, and it means your team is more likely to pick up on key changes in the data. So let's find out how to set up Gecko Board for Slack. Step one. Head over to geckoboard.com and sign up for a free trial with Geckoboard. No credit card required. Step two, connect a data source. Geckoboard has over 80 data sources to choose from, including Google Analytics, Zendesk, Shopify, and Salesforce. Plus, you can visualize metrics from spreadsheets and databases. Today, I'm gonna to be visualizing metrics from Salesforce and Google Sheets. Step three, build a widget. A widget is just a name for a data visualization. Here, you can choose which metrics you want to visualize and how you want to visualize them, including by setting goals, comparisons, and status indicators. Step four, building up your dashboard. Continue adding widgets to build up your dashboard. As you can see, I've got some line charts, some number widgets. I've also used our image widget to include some images of the team to indicate who's responsible for which metric. Step five, Connect your Slack account and schedule your snapshots. Connect your Slack account and select which days and on what time you want to post a snapshot of your dashboard. Your snapshot will automatically appear in your chosen Slack channel for all to see. And it's as simple as that. If you want to check out Gecko Board, just head over to geckoboard.com. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, just leave those in comments and I will get back to you. I hope you have a great day. Ooh.